also we have done ek we have done ekomkar we have done satnam we have done the karta puruk if you would like to look look up look up shakun ki matra and write the word ek or write the word omkar or write the word satnam and you will find it on in youtube but more importantly these i have taken from satpar singh ji from nanak naam uh, which is also up on youtube and uh, i always say corrections are welcome because of the fact that i may have misunderstood a point so for that i apologize and i would like corrections to be welcome but today let's do nirbhav why did guru nanak come up with the word nirbhav that must have come from the depth of his heart after he achieved enlightenment he saying that the lord is ek what he experiences is ek one oneness he said what he experiences is the probably the vibration of om omkar then satnam we discussed truth karta puruk he is the doer even though we may believe that we are and i explained we tried to explain free will how much of free will we have and our sanskars so today let us do nirbhav why did the word nirbhav come out from the depths of guru nanak's heart well nirbhav literally means he is without fear now we most of all fear for something that is stronger than us though some of us may be afraid of a cockroach or a mouse but by and large we feel something that is stronger than us so and we have always explained that since guru nanak felt that everything is one he feels what is there to fear and what is there for him to fear we also are afraid when we are fearful that you are committing a sin but then when we commit sin i think the main sin is to think of duality you see because you commit a sin towards something else or towards someone else we are afraid of what we don't know and the lord is he knows everything we fear we fear the unknown but the lord is all knowing we fear death because we do not know about it but guru nanak used to go to the crematorium and and he explained i have come i have to come here anyway so i might as well come here and see what it feels like and that is aren't we taught that that if you are afraid of the darkness then experience that darkness and then i i have also personally shakun i have also heard that to be enlightened is to die while being alive and i remember i used to song sing this song je alla sa je alla sa milan chahi je re paan ke maar which means that if you want to meet allah if you want to meet the lord then while alive kill yourself kill yourself what does it mean that <laughs> doesn't mean to kill yourself physically it means to realize that we are one that there is nothing to be afraid of but then again another thing that i heard in that youtube is why did guru nanak say without fear he could have said without anger etc because fear is the greatest driving force and the greatest obstacle whenever we are afraid remember we have we have we've heard of fight or flight so it is a greatest driving force and a greatest obstacles most of what we do is based on fear fear is duality fear needs the i and the oppressor 
something will be taken away from me. So I am afraid. So we are afraid of the time element because we are afraid that something may happen to us in the future. You are not afraid of something that you are prepared for, are you? If I ask you to count to ten, you are going to not be afraid because you say, how silly, of course I'm not afraid, I know how to count up to ten. But if I tell you count in another language, you may be a little concerned. But anyway, what you are prepared for, what you know, you are not afraid of. And you are always fearful of something happening in the future. But right now, there is nothing to be afraid of. So, another thing that is said by Guru Gobind Singh, if I'm if I remember correctly, is Jin Prem Kiyo Tenehi Prabhu Payo. Love. And if you, can, if you can act from the heart, then everything, there is nothing to be afraid of. Because there is really nothing to be afraid of. And then another thing is, Ji Prem Gali Ati Sankari, I've heard these two lines, Ja Me Dona Samai, which means that if you love, how can you hate? If you believe that your enemy is also part of you, how can you be afraid of him? But these are, in my mind, Shakun speaking, easier said than done. But again, Krishna also says in the Gita, it may be difficult, but with practice and perseverance, we can achieve the impossible. Think about it. Until next time. Take care.